Did you know that foreign exchange trading or forex trading is like a global marketplace for exchanging different currencies? It's also often referred to as FX trading. What's really cool about forex is that it's the largest market in the world. The trades happening in this market actually have an impact on so many things around us. Speaking of numbers, according to a recent report from the Bank for International Settlements in 2022, the daily global volume for forex trading reached a whopping $7.5 trillion. That's an incredible amount, isn't it? It just goes to show how dynamic and important forex trading is on a global scale. If you're interested in broadening your knowledge and gaining more experience with forex, you should definitely check out Stealth Wealth Society. We've partnered with XM, a reputable global broker that has affiliates from over 190 countries. It's a great platform to explore and take your forex journey to the next level. You can find the link in the description below, so be sure to give it a look. Now where were we? Oh yes, understanding the basics of forex trading. Let's take a friendly journey into the world of forex trading. It's quite similar to the currency exchange you may have experienced while traveling abroad. Here's the scoop. A trader buys one currency and sells another, and the exchange rate constantly moves up and down based on supply and demand. Now, where does all this action happen? Well, currencies are traded in the foreign exchange market, which is a global marketplace that stays open 24 hours a day from Monday to Friday. It's important to note that Forex trading is conducted over the counter, OTC. So there's no physical exchange like you'd see with stocks. Instead, a network of banks and financial institutions keeps a watchful eye on the market, instead of a central exchange like the New York Stock Exchange. Here's an interesting tidbit. A majority of the trading activity in the Forex market comes from institutional traders. These are the folks who work for banks, fund managers, and multinational corporations. They don't necessarily aim to physically possess the currencies themselves. Oftentimes, they're speculating on or hedging against future exchange rate changes. Forex trading is a dynamic and exciting world where currencies are constantly on the move. So buckle up and let's explore this fascinating realm together. The ins and outs of currency trading. Each currency around the globe is given a three-letter code, similar to a stock's ticker symbol. With over 170 currencies in existence, it's worth noting that the US dollar plays a significant role in Forex trading. Knowing its code, USD, can be particularly helpful. The Euro, accepted in 19 countries of the European Union, holds the second spot as the most popular currency in the Forex market, with its code being EUR. Now let's talk about some other major currencies in order of their popularity. The Japanese Yen, JPY, the British Pound, GBP, the Australian Dollar, AUD, the Canadian Dollar, CAD, the Swiss Franc, CHF, and the New Zealand Dollar, NZD. In Forex trading, the combination of two currencies being exchanged is how everything is expressed. The market focuses on what are known as the majors and these seven currency pairs make up approximately 75% of all trading activity. EUR slash USD, Euro US Dollar, USD slash JPY, US Dollar Japanese Yen, GBP USD, British Pound US Dollar, AUD slash USD, Australian Dollar US Dollar, USD slash CAD, US Dollar Canadian Dollar, USD slash CHF, US Dollar Swiss Franc, NZD slash USD, New Zealand Dollar, US Dollar. These major currency pairs are the center of attention in the Forex market. Exciting stuff, right? Decoding Forex Trade Quotations Want to know the secrets of how Forex trades are quoted? It's actually quite simple once you know the key elements. Let's take the Euro to Dollar Exchange Rate, or EUR slash USD, as an example. The currency on the left, Euro, is known as the base currency. The currency on the right, US dollar, is referred to as the quote currency. The exchange rate indicates how much of the quote currency is required to purchase one unit of the base currency. In other words, the base currency is always expressed as one unit, while the quote currency varies depending on the current market conditions and the amount needed to buy one unit of the base currency. For instance, if the EUR slash USD exchange rate is 1.2, it means that one euro can buy $1.20, or to put it another way, it'll cost $1.20 to purchase one euro. 
When the exchange rate goes up, it implies that the base currency is increased in value relative to the quote currency, since one euro can purchase more US dollars. Conversely, if the exchange rate goes down, it means that the base currency is decreased in value. Now here's a handy tip. Currency pairs are usually presented with the base currency first and the quote currency second. However, there are some historical conventions for expressing certain currency pairs. For example, conversions from USD to EUR are listed as EUR slash USD, while USD slash EUR is not typically used. Forex Trade Three-Way Approach Did you know that most Forex trades aren't actually made for the purpose of exchanging currencies like you would at a currency exchange booth while traveling? Instead, they're primarily aimed at speculating on future price movements, just like you would in stock trading. Just like stock traders, Forex traders seek to buy currencies they believe will increase in value compared to others, or sell currencies they expect to decline in purchasing power. Now when it comes to trading Forex, there are three different approaches that cater to traders with varying goals. The Spot Market This is the primary Forex market where currency pairs are exchanged, and exchange rates are determined in real time. It's all about the present moment. The rates are influenced by the dynamic forces of supply and demand, shaping the value of currencies as transactions occur. The Forward Market in this market, Forex traders have the option to enter into a binding contract with another trader. Instead of executing the trade immediately, they can lock in an exchange rate for a specific amount of currency to be exchanged on a future date. It's like having a private agreement based on mutual understanding and trust. The Futures Market Similar to the forward market, traders can choose to enter into a standardized contract in the futures market. These contracts involve buying or selling a predetermined amount of currency at a specific exchange rate on a specified future date. What sets the futures market apart is the trading takes place on an exchange, providing transparency and regulated conditions for the transactions. These markets serve as valuable tools for Forex traders who are looking to speculate on or protect themselves against future price fluctuations in currencies. It's all about anticipating those changes. In the forward and futures markets, traders can make informed decisions by closely monitoring the spot market. This helps them gauge the potential future movements of exchange rates and take appropriate positions accordingly. Whether they want to speculate on potential price changes or safeguard their investments through hedging, these markets provide the necessary tools to make it happen. Remember, it's all interconnected. The forward and futures markets rely on the spot market to determine exchange rates. Understanding this relationship empowers traders to navigate the Forex landscape with confidence. Essential Forex Vocabulary Now, it's important to know these basic Forex vocabularies before engaging in Forex trading. Currency Pair In Forex trading, all trades involve a currency pair. Apart from the major pairs, there are also lesser known trades such as exotics, which represent the currencies of developing countries. Pip. A PIP, which stands for percentage in points, represents the smallest possible price change within a currency pair. Since Forex prices are quoted with at least four decimal places, one PIP is equivalent to .0001. Bid Ask Spread Similar to other assets like stocks, exchange rates in Forex are determined by the highest price buyers are willing to pay, the bid, and the lowest price sellers require to sell, the ask. The bid-ask spread is the difference between these two prices, and it determines the value at which trades are ultimately executed. Lot Forex trades are conducted in standardized units of currency called lots. The typical lot size is 100,000 units of currency, but there are also smaller options available for trading, such as micro lots, 1,000 units, and mini lots, 10,000 units. Leverage Given the larger lot sizes, some traders may be hesitant to invest a significant amount of money in a single trade. Leverage, which involves borrowing money, enables traders to participate in the Forex market without having to put up the full required amount of capital. Margin However, trading with leverage comes with a cost. Traders are required to provide an upfront deposit, known as margin, in order to cover potential losses and maintain their leverage positions. Factors influence the Forex market In the Forex market, currency prices are determined by the interplay of buyers and sellers, just like any other market. 
However, there are broader factors that also come into play. The demand for specific currencies can be influenced by various macro forces such as interest rates, central bank policies, the rate of economic growth, and the political climate of the respective countries. One advantage of the Forex market is its availability 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. This allows traders to promptly respond to news that may have delayed effects in the stock market. Given that a significant portion of currency trading involves speculation and hedging, it is crucial for traders to stay informed about the dynamics that can lead to sudden spikes in currency values. Forex Trading – Thrills and Spills In Forex trading, there are unique risks that come with leverage and margin use. While currency prices constantly fluctuate, these fluctuations are often small, requiring traders to make larger trades using leverage to make significant profits. Leverage can be beneficial when a trade is successful, amplifying profits. However, it can also amplify losses, potentially exceeding the initially borrowed amount. Moreover, if a currency's value drops significantly, traders using leverage may face margin calls, which could result in selling securities at a loss. Additionally, transaction costs can accumulate and eat into potential profits. It's important to note that individual Forex traders are swimming in a pond filled with skilled professionals, and the Securities and Exchange Commission warns about potential fraud and confusing information for new traders. Interestingly, Forex trading is not very common among individual investors. Retail trading accounts for only 5.5% of the global market, as reported by Daily Forex, and some major online brokers don't even offer Forex trading. If you have plans for a significant purchase of an imported item or preparing for international travel, it's wise to keep an eye on the exchange rates determined by the Forex market. Being aware of these rates can help you make informed decisions and potentially save money. Did we manage to make Forex trading easier for you? If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribing to Stealth Wealth Society will also ensure you stay updated on future content like this. We'd love to hear your Forex trading tricks too. Feel free to share them with us in the comment section below. See you in our next video.